Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include European Court blows opportunity to save 14 million refusing to cancel gravy train. UK Minister for Europe backs strategy for EU enlargement. I'll be focusing on this story tonight. The EU is proxying for fishing rights in the Western Atlantic. And also, the internet is back in the frame as the EU delivers its cyber security proposals. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. It's beyond ridiculous. The Eurozone is in the early stages of a fiscal implosion. The Greeks and Spaniards haven't two Euros to rub together. Portugal, back at the ECB lending counter, with a cap in its hand. Twelve times a year, the whole European Parliament is moved from Brussels to Strasbourg, an obligation under EU treaties that costs nearly 200 million euros every year. A proposal to the European Court of Justice to reduce the number of moves from 12 to 11 was met with fierce resistance by the French. One has to ask, will the French be happy to contribute the 14 million euros then? Mr for Europe David Liddington said, The UK remains a strong supporter of EU enlargement to all countries of the Western Balkans, Iceland and Turkey. Now who in the UK is a strong supporter of greater enlargement of the EU? And more to the point, I would very much doubt that Iceland is even interested in EU membership. Hardly reported by our mainstream press lackeys, Iceland underwent a revolution, with its ministers ousted under noisy protests from the people. A new constitution was written, bankers were arrested and our EU creditors told to get stuffed. So what planet is Mr Liddington living on? Once again, the EU is at it with its nefarious and clandestine activities. The European Union has plans to sign a new fisheries agreement with Morocco in an attempt to open up fishing waters off Western Sahara. Sahrawi rights activists are outraged and believe that Europe has no rights and no mandate to fish there. New legislation in the pipeline with regard to computer and internet security, known as cyber security. This is the EU shutting the paddock gate after the sheep fled the field. The full details are in the legislation section of our website. Technology will become an ever more integrated part of our daily lives and it provides freedoms that we should not be prepared to let go of lightly. My advice is you should find out about Ubuntu, Linux and open source. These things will help protect your privacy and your freedom. Read the full article on our website so that you know exactly what they've got planned for you. Links are below. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.